Hello everyone. So really glad for you to join this video today. We're going to talk about what qualifications should we do after AZ fundamentals. But before I carry on or continue, um, if you're interested in hearing any more videos or any more resources in terms of like DevOps, cloud, Azure qualifications or anything of the sort, just remember to subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button because any of those videos that could probably help your career or answer some, some questions that you may have may help you, but you don't want to miss them. So not to miss them, click subscribe. Anyway, back in the show. So today we're going to talk about basically, you know, what qualification should we do after AZ 900? You know, what's next? What's the guide and what have you? So I've got the, I'll just cut to the chase really. So we've got Wiz, with Wiz Labs, um, Role-based Microsoft Azure certification path, and this is this is where you probably want to try and understand. Okay, where should we go from here? So just zoom in. So the thing about the AZ 900 is an optional first course or qualification to have, but it's really fundamental. It's really it's the foundations for everything, so that you can actually know what the terminologies they use in the next exam or qualification. So as you can see here at the top, AZ900 um, is if you want to be, you know, it's an introduction to Azure DevOps if you want that. But the qualification that you do to get to DevOps is the AZ204 and then AZ400. You can go AZ900 to AZ400. You don't have to do the 204 or 104, but this is the suggested path to take so that you cover all the basics because in AZ400 does reference some material from AZ104. Seriously, you, it's, it's best to go into that path. Um, again, AZ900 is you know a prerequisite, not prerequisite, but it's an optional prerequisite for AZ500. It really does help for you to do that. But anyway, you get the gist. Um, if you want to be the Zer architect, it's 303, 304. Um, and it does cover something else. One here, it's for SAP. You know, you could actually, what could be a good idea so that you can add, you know, so you can add to the benefit of covering all the topics at one shot is to do all the optional fundamental um, courses. So when you do AZ 900, you can then do your DP 900 and then you can do your AI 900. And that would, that will probably set you up to do then any path that you want because then each and every single fundamental exam gives you like a nice touch or feeling for what you know certificates you may have or what career paths that you may take you know if you want to go down the ai route or the or the data route you know it's really really down to you but doing the fundamentals gives you a good flavor or feeling for what it is so if you need to cloud i will suggest that if you want to be able to just do everything quickly, sure, except for the do anything quickly, in my opinion, that you can't really just take any exam is to do the architect rule because it is a prerequisite for you to do AZ303 and AZ304 to acquire the Azure Architect Expert um, badge. You need to do both. Um, that's, that's the only thing that there is. I'm not quite sure about any other exam. So, I think really and truly the, to answer this question, the decision is down to yourself. What do you prefer? If you're hands-on, want on to automation, everything of the sort, after you do AZ 900, follow the path for AZ 104 to then 400 for DevOps. Security, then you know for you to get quick badge of honor, you could do the AZ 500. Um, I would suggest though that the topics are covered is at 500, you want to do is at 104 because it does talk about VNets, NSG rules, and PIM, uh, privilege identity management, all these sort of things. Um, in my honest opinion, I will start here. I would, I would, I would probably do is at 900, is at 104, and then go with is at 400. Reason being is because some of these topics are covered in all these other exams. That's the honest to God truth.
Is that 204? Two, two Although it says development solutions for Microsoft Azure, and the word developing or is in there, it's not really develop heavy, as in you got to do a lot of coding and stuff. It's just basically what developer products is there in Azure to offer services. I will strongly suggest that you probably consider doing this branch first. It's, it's really sets you up for every single thing else because these topics cover all the other topics that you have to actually master. This is a no brainer for me. I will start here, guys. That's the honest God truth. That's, that's where I'll start, seriously. So anyway, in this video, we've covered off what to do next with AZ-900. Basically, it's to, it's to try to understand where you are in your career. If you're new to cloud, I will suggest doing all the fundamental exams first. If you're not new to cloud and you basically just interested in DevOps, then that's an easy win for you. Or if you're into security, that's another easy win. If you're hands off-ish and you wanna do architecture work, there's a no-brainer no there. I'll put this path from Wiz Labs into the description of the video so that you can actually get to that and print that off so that you actually know where you're going. I hope that's helped. Remember to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos that may help your career. And I just want to say thank you for watching. See you soon. I got to go and do my, do my day job now. Bye.